Putin seizes wealth of Russian businessmen and gives selected businesses to pro-Kremlin businessmen. Confiscated enterprises near Russia are being distributed to pro-Kremlin businessmen as Vladimir Putin cultivates a new elite from supporters of the war with Ukraine, citing the UK Ministry of Defence. Since the onset of the invasion into Ukraine in February 2022, Russia has taken about 180 companies worth around $11.5 billion under state control. Priority is reportedly given to companies owned by foreigners, including Russians living abroad. This move is likely aimed at reducing external influences on the Russian economy, as stated in the report. British intelligence indicates that the Russian state is reallocating assets to pro-Kremlin businessmen who support the war against Ukraine. This deprivatization likely aligns with President Putin's call to create a new nationalist elite forged by the war against Ukraine in his February 2024 address to Russians. Increased defense spending has almost certainly increased financial pressures on the Russian state alongside economic sanctions and flows of capital out of Russia since the start of the invasion, the UK Ministry of Defense writes. According to analysis, from the Yale School of Management, around 1,000 companies have exited business operations in Russia, although hundreds still operate or have suspended activities. Among the companies still operating or doing business in Russia are Mondelez International, PepsiCo, Orchan, Nestle, Unilever, and Reckitt. Others, including Intesa San Paolo, face bureaucratic hurdles in attempts to leave. Moscow demands discounts of no less than 50% when selling foreign assets and consistently ramps up exit demands, often agreeing to nominal commissions of just one ruble. The Financial Times reports that the largest European companies have incurred at least 100 billion euros in direct losses from their operations in Russia following President Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Over 2,500 houses were flooded in Russia's Orenburg region. 4,208 people were evacuated from the emergency zone, according to the press service of the regional government. As of April 6, 2,556 residential buildings and 6,886 household plots have been flooded due to active snowmelt and rising river levels caused by spillways in the region. At the same time, 4,208 people were evacuated, including 1,019 children, while 427 people, including 132 children, are being put in temporary accommodation centers, the statement said. In addition, 306 farm animals were moved from flood zones to safe areas. The flood is at its peak. The situation is difficult in several territories, especially in Orsk due to a dam break. But people are safe, everyone who evacuated is warm and provided with food. Experts continue to deal with technical issues, the press service quoted the governor of the Orenburg region Dennis Passler. Officials say 10,000 residents may be in the flooding zone and up to 4,000 houses could be inundated. Work in the area of the dam rupture in Orsk continues, the Russian Emergencies Ministry said in a statement, adding that around 440 people and 217 pieces of equipment were involved in the effort Russian state media said residents of two of the three districts of Orsk were being evacuated. Citizens of the Leninsky and Savetsky districts of Orsk are being evacuated to temporary accommodation centers, the regional prosecutor's office said in a message Orsk has a population of about 230,000. The evacuees are being moved to nearby schools, the region, which includes Orsk, other Urals provinces and parts of neighboring Kazakhstan, has been hit by widespread flooding in recent days. Собака бежит по воде. Да, вон. Да, 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 да